One of the films that really impressed me and first turned me on to the kinds of possibilities of Movie Storm was a film made by Frank Fox called Morning Run Amok. There was one shot in particular in that film that really impressed me, and that was a shot where a car was moving by in the foreground and you could see its reflection on windows in the background. Now that's something that you see in everyday life so often you don't even think about it. But in Machinima, in an engine that does not have reflections, nor does it have moving vehicles at this time, that was a particularly impressive thing to pull off, especially in the early beta of that program. Well, it just so happens that I was working on a film that required something similar. So here's how all of this is going to be put together. I start out with several parts. I've got a truck, which I've gone in and colored the background around it green for chroma key purposes. I've got a backdrop of this apartment complex, which people would have been seeing outside the window in other shots. So I put those elements together and animate the motion of the truck at the speed that I need. Now I'm going to reverse that footage. I don't mean reverse direction of playback. I mean actually flip it left to right. I'll make that partially transparent so you can see how it lays over the shot where the reflection is going to take place. And I made sure to line this up in 3D so it was kind of at an angle, not perfectly square, because the shot isn't perfectly square. So I've reduced the transparency so you can see here. Now the problem is, right now, the footage shows through across every surface in the frame beneath it. And what I need it to do is look like it's only reflecting off the glass of the window. To do that, I create what's called a mask. Essentially, I captured a frame from the footage underneath, and then I painted on top of that frame in an image editing software, making areas where I wanted reflection to be white and areas where I did not want reflection to be black. Now when I bring this into Vegas and apply it as a mask layer, the mask functions as just like what it sounds like. It only lets light through in the appropriately colored areas. So once I lay that over, and then I apply the appropriate effects to the background footage, which is very low opacity and a slight blurring effect to simulate the fact that glass tends to distort things a little bit, and you've got a reflection that looks like it's on the window. Add the sound to the shot to create the presence of this vehicle, and it's even more convincing an illusion. Here's what the final shot looks like with sound. This was turning out to be such a beautiful day. I got the promotion... Yeah, I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier, but the open manager's position, the one I've been working so hard for, they gave it to me. It's probably the single greatest thing that's ever happened to me career-wise. And I'm thinking, this is it. We finally have a chance to get ahead. Oh yeah, Toyota Tai!